Welcome to day five. Ooh, the family room. Wait, hold up. Can we take 10 seconds and just quickly show them this hallway? Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Check out the adorable pattern. Of course, the candy cane, which is tying the whole house together. The cute little elves on all the sconces. And then finally, ending with this adorable snowman with these super cute cake plates. When the guests come over, I simply move the candles and add the goodies onto the trays. Oh, so cute. Okay, to the family room. All right. I, this is definitely the most detailed, intricate room of the house. This is where we spend most of the time decorating because of this tree, which I'm gonna go right to first. Okay, I don't think it's possible to look at this tree and not be happy. Literally, it is so cute. Can you get like a close-in spanning of this tree? It is, with the topper, 14 feet tall. I lost count of the ornaments. I know it's 15,000 lights. This is the only thing in our house that we do every year because it makes us all so happy. Absolutely love it. It's always slightly different every year because I add a couple new ornaments that I find, like I added the big donuts this year, but love, love. We call it the Land of Sweets Tree. Like I said, we've been doing it for about 10 years. And this Colonel Cupcake has been with me for most of those 10 years. He's slightly hunched over now, and he has to use his candy cane, which is usually over here, as a cane. Because I put him outside one year, and he's a paper mache. And yeah, he's leaned over a little bit, but he's still with us. We love him. Okay, next on to the mantle. I think this is probably, hi, Mechanic Kate. Hello. <laughs> Tripping over your shoes, love. <laughs> loved it being so pronounced and so I thought I'm just gonna leave it that way so I added these on as well and then dropped the stockings down below so that it kind of makes the whole effect super large love love how this turned out we've got of course the giant cupcakes we've got a giant ice cream sundae over there we've got gingerbread houses tying things in we've got all kinds of yummy goody sweets carried over as well from the sweets tree love how that one turned out okay next on to this this is so fun I've never done this before this is a giant staircase it's actually three staircases that I zip tied together to make them larger and then I lowered our chandelier down about five feet got fishing line and attached it to the chandelier and have the elves climbing up decorating a little miniaturized version of our Land of Sweets tree over there. I think it's so, so fun. You'll notice the elves climbing up the stairs as well as the elves over on the Land of Sweets tree. They're on ladders over there, love it. Okay, next is this giant gingerbread house, which I think is so incredibly cute because you know we're all gingerbread this year. When I bought this one, it was actually just red and green, and I wanted it to match the colors that I was using. So, did you know you can just get hot glue, use real candy, and just top it on right at all the colors that you see that aren't red or green. I added on here, and I tried to just pop them off. The hot glue comes right off. So it's perfect. You can make any gingerbread house into the colors that you want. This one over here is actually real. I made this last year when I had my Grinch theme. It was in the center of my Whoville village. Loved it so much. I just covered it up in, in a cabinet last year and kept it and I think it looks great. Anyway, another fun thing I wanted to show you is all of our chairs in here are slip covered. Love this fabric, but doesn't look super cute for Christmas. I wanted to have this yummy fur going on in here. So these are slip covers. This pattern right here with the gingerbread matches the slip cover over on this chair, which is so, so fun. And then finally, I 
have to, well, actually, let me show you the cabinet first. Love how this cabinet turned out. I have a daughter named Tiffany, and so I found some Tiffany, and her, and her birthday is in December. And so I always like to dedicate this cabinet to her. I found some Tiffany colored boxes, and I always do this some form of a Tiffany color blue and tell her that we're celebrating her birthday as well. But you can see I added the red to tie in what's happening in the hallway that I showed you originally. Okay, and now finally on to the tutu. If McKenna Kate will let us come here while she's drinking her hot cocoa and reading her book, check out this adorable tutu. Of course, I used the red and white ribbon again. That's the whole pattern this year. This is what it used to be last year. It was a little stockings. I just pinned that on, cute pink tool, tack it on with some pins, and the whole sofa gets a little tutu. Is that not so fun? Okay, tomorrow I'm gonna to be showing you the kitchen.